Since Bambi passed away, after a tragic dental surgery gone wrong, Joan, Jody and Blessing mourned the loss of their beloved companion. Jody and Blessing, the two dogs she still had, were the focus of all of Joan's attention. Life continues after one and a half years have passed. One sunny morning, Joan felt a familiar presence close by as she vacuumed the floor in front of her gate. She turned around and couldn't believe her eyes. Standing outside her gate was Bambi, her beloved poodle who had passed away. Joan's heart was pounding so hard that it almost felt as if it were beating out of her chest. Bambi, is it really you? Joan whispered, her voice trembling with a mix of disbelief and joy. Bambi wagged her tail and grinned broadly with her long tongue hanging as if to say, yes, it's me. Overwhelmed with emotions, Joan quickly opened the gate and tried to scoop Bambi into her arms, but Bambi was unreachable. As she appeared different, Joan instantly realized that what she had been seeing was Bambi's spirit. Her tail had become longer, and she had the most gorgeous white fur. The most amazing sight was that Bambi had a normal mouth and was no longer jawless. Bambi had purposefully displayed her long tongue to Joan in order to identify herself. In an instant, Bambi ran up to Blessing and sat down next to her. Is there something you want to tell me? Joan questioned Bambi. Bambi turned to face Blessing after giving Joan a direct glance in the eyes. After a short while, Bambi got to her feet, wagged her tail and walked joyfully over to Joan. She then started running for the gate before vanishing. Joan ran after her and called out to Bambi. Bambi, wait, please don't go. Joan jumped up from her bed and awoke from her dream, drenched in sweat and with tears in her eyes. Joan is someone who doesn't have frequent dreams during sleep since she was young, and when it does, she knows something is happening soon. Her mother used to tell her that she had been sensitive since birth, and being born prematurely, she grew up to be strong and sensitive to her surroundings, especially around animals. And so, Joan always believed in her dreams. Joan sat on her bed crying as questions streamed through her mind. Bambi has not come to her dream since she left, but why did she come suddenly after 18 months and in such a rush to leave? Joan wondered what Bambi was trying to show her. The dream left Joan with a sense of urgency and curiosity. She couldn't shake the feeling that Bambi's visit held significant meaning. Joan decided to contact Pauline, the animal communicator who had helped her talk with Bambi about her fear of thunderstorms and rainy days four years ago. Pauline agreed to meet with Joan and help her interpret the message Bambi was attempting to send. Pauline mentioned that there are support groups where people shared their own experiences communicating with departed pets. And Bambi's reappearance could indicate that there was something vital she needed to learn or grasp. During their session, Pauline guided Joan through a meditation to create a connection with Bambi's spirit. As Joan closed her eyes and focused on her breathing, she felt a warm presence surrounding her and she could sense Bambi's energy depicting a scene of happiness and contentment. Bambi was running freely in a beautiful meadow, surrounded by vibrant flowers and a gentle breeze. In this state of deep connection, Pauline asked Bambi, what is it that you want us to know? A clear image flashed in Pauline's mind. Blessing was lying motionless on the ground with a dark cloud above her. And then there came a second image showing Bambi and Blessing with a white dog who is larger in size. And they were in a beautiful green pasture across a glowing river. As the session concluded, Pauline told Joan what she saw and they exchanged silent glances. They both believed that Blessing was about to experience some sort of change. Joan was very worried and decided to get help from her family. Joan's parents moved in and assisted their daughter in looking after their grand furry kids while Joan was at work. Weeks went by and days went on as normal. On May 23, 2020, Blessing started to struggle while getting up. Blessing became paralyzed from her lower back down in less than a day. Joan rushed her to the emergency animal hospital. The results of tests and x-rays revealed nothing unusual. Blessing, an ex-breeding dog with no jaw, has lived to a very old age. And Joan has been complimented on how well she was cared for. But if Joan wanted to learn more, 
they would need to conduct additional tests on Blessing. Joan made the decision to take Blessing home with her after remembering the dream from Bambi. Joan thought to herself, is Blessing's life coming to an end soon? Is this what Bambi is trying to tell me? Deep down in Joan's heart, she knew the answer. Bambi had come to assure Joan that she was okay and to let her know that she would be guiding Blessing. Blessing was adopted at the age of 13 to 15 in 2016. Her body had a dramatic change that was due to aging and the beginning of her body's decline. Joan wanted Blessing to live peacefully at home in her comfort zone where she has all the love and attention and her companion Jody by her side. Joan took a couple of weeks off from work and was completely devoted to Blessing and Jody. She gave Blessing an hourly massage, hand fed her, helped her shift positions, changed her diapers and soothed her when she couldn't sleep at night. She also held Blessing's paw and expressed her love for her. Joan was aware that she needed to provide Blessing with the most comfort and relaxation throughout her remaining time on Earth. As the hours turned into days, Blessing's condition worsened. Her mobility continued to decline and Joan could see the tiredness in her eyes. Joan knew that the time was approaching when she would have to face the reality of letting Blessing go. She called Pauline once more and requested assistance. Pauline continued talking to Blessing and flashing visuals, indicating Buddy Bam Bam and Bambi had also arrived. Jodie was also holding back until it was her chance to speak. All four of Joan's dogs began to send messages rapidly. They were very active during this communication. Blessing let Joan know that she was reluctant to go, but she knew she had to. She thanked Joan very much for loving her with all her heart and she was grateful that Joan took her home. And instead of sticking to her usual healthy diet, she insisted on eating all the delicious junk food. She told Joan, My time is coming very soon, so please satisfy my love for food. Joan looked at Blessing. Blessing raised her brows and looked back. Bam Bam told Joan that she would always be by her side and she would willingly look after the rest of her sisters when they crossed over. She told Joan not to worry and that all living beings would come to this end and return anew in the other dimension. There's nothing to worry about. Bambi, on the other hand, sent Joan a happy message. She assured Joan that she would be the first to greet Blessing and show her around when she arrived and that she was now proud to show off her jaw. As for Jody, she said she knew Blessing was leaving soon and she is sad, but she let Joan know that she will try to get used to being the only dog at home after Blessing leaves. She added that she was fine with sticking to a regular nutritious diet, but occasionally desired some junk food. She also requested that Joan give her some massage as she felt discomfort in her legs. Joan was overwhelmed by all the messages and requests from all her dogs. She wrote down all the messages in her notebook and promised to fulfill them all, and she did. These messages gave Joan a sense of clarity and relief. Her dogs have given her a clear understanding and assurance that everything is well on the other side. Dogs have a tremendous spiritual awareness and connection, making them absolutely magnificent beings in the big tapestry of the universe. Dogs have always been admired for their intuitive nature and capacity to feel energies beyond our human grasp. Many dog owners have recounted experiences about their canines exhibiting strange behaviors or emotions when a loved one dies. They appear to recognize the severity of the situation and provide a particular type of connection that goes beyond words. Dogs have also been shown to demonstrate actions that show they can detect the presence of spirits or creatures from the spiritual dimension. They may bark or growl at seemingly vacant locations as though alerting to the presence of unseen beings. Some dogs have even been observed staring into vacant corners of rooms, their focus fixed on something unseen by human eyes. Aside from their sensitivity to death and the afterlife, dogs exemplify spiritual truths. They teach us unconditional love, forgiveness, loyalty and the importance of living in the present now. Their extraordinary sensitivity to the spiritual world that surrounds us continues to inspire us. On the evening of May 29, 2020, Blessing refused her dinner and laid on Joan's bed panting heavily. 
Joan knew Blessing was dying. She carried and held Blessing in her arms, comforting her, telling her that she can leave any time when she's ready and that Bambi will be waiting for her on the other side. Joan looked into Blessing's eyes and whispered, Thank you for being my faithful companion. You have brought so much love and joy into my life. It's time for you to find peace now. Jodie stood quietly by their side and it seems that she was saying goodbye to Blessing. At 10.30 p.m. that night, Blessing left peacefully in Joan's arms. Blessing was cremated and her ashes were brought home to be with Bam Bam and Bambi. Joan kept her beloved dog's ashes with pink crystals in their urns at home. She made her last will and told her family that she would have all their ashes buried with hers when her time came. Joan and Jody continued living their normal lives, taking her outdoors and giving her more tasty food in addition to her usual nutritious dog meals, grooming and massaging her every evening before bedtime while talking to her. One morning on the seventh day after Blessing's cremation, Joan was going to the market after Jody's breakfast and walks. When she opened her door, she saw a large, beautiful grasshopper appear at her gate, which has never happened before in over 10 years of staying in this home. She was delighted to be greeted by this beautiful creature early in the morning. She whispered to it, If you are sending a sign from Blessing, please stay and wait till I come back from my grocery shopping. Surprisingly, it did. Joan was happy when she came home to see the grasshopper was still there. For nearly an hour, Joan sat by the gate with the grasshopper while carrying Jody on her lap. She knew in her heart that Blessing had sent a sign to inform her that she had come to visit. Isn't it amazing to witness such a wonderful encounter when someone loses their pets? The most unbelievable sight was the beautiful grasshopper who stayed there for almost an hour and left only when Joan said goodbye and ended their conversation. In that moment, Joan felt a profound sense of gratitude. She knew that Bambi had guided her throughout this journey, preparing her heart for this moment. Blessing was now free from suffering and reunited with Bambi in a beautiful meadow across the flowing river. But almost six months later, Bambi came back again. Stay tuned for the next chapter, where the story continues to unfold. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next story. Be blessed.